Well, Fabian, how does it feel to have extended your stay at Newcastle United? Yeah, I'm really, really grateful. Um, it's um, my home, my second home now, and um, yeah, I'm just really pleased and, and, and happy about staying here for for another year. And I'm just looking for 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 the times coming. You've been here six seasons already, and now you're extending that stay. Why is it? What is it about this club that has made you stay here longer than you have at previous clubs? Just feel really home, like I said. Um, feel really comfortable um, living in, in the city. Um, not to say that I, I love the club, you know. I love the fans. Um, playing for for Newcastle means uh, a lot for me. So um, I'm just in a position where I feel um, really grateful and and, and, and happy. For, to, to be where I am and um, obviously now to, to have the ch chance to, to stay another year um, just uh, makes me feel really happy. You've played in Spain and Germany and your homeland before coming here. When you got that call to say you were coming to Newcastle United and you, you packed a bag pretty quickly to come here in the first place, did you really expect to be still sat here so, so long later on? No, obviously in football you never know what's happening, you know, but um, I have to say I felt really comfortable since since my first day obviously there were like also difficult times for me personally but um, just as a club and then the way I feel uh, in Newcastle was always the same I felt always um, so comfortable and, and, and like I said many times like a second home and, and obviously that makes my decision so easy and then obviously um, my desire to stay here as well so um, yeah I'm just um, Really looking forward for for the next time and um, yeah. You mentioned tough moments and there has been a couple, but there's been lots of really good ones as well. Which ones have stood out for you? What's been the best moments of your time so far? Oh, it's difficult to pick one moment. I have to say, uh, for me personally, probably the game against Paris and scoring that four-one goal was was really special. It was a, a really special night, and then as a club. Going to Wembley, for example, um, or just the the road we had for for the last two two and a half years, and um, just be part of it and um, just enjoy every moment. To be honest, uh, I'm looking forward to play every game. I just try to leave my heart on the pitch and, and play for the batch. And um, yeah, I'm just um, happy, happy to, to be a Newcastle player. Obviously, Rafa Benitez signed you, and you won the North East Football Writers Player of the Year, sort of in your well, your first year, really. But under Eddie Howe, you seem to have improved even more. I mean, how big a factor has he been? How big an influence has he been on on you playing such good football? Yeah, I said this uh, all the time. He was massive, not not just for me, just for the whole club. And um, obviously, he came in a difficult um, situation, also difficult situation for me personally. And he just uh, trust me from day one and um, make me the player who, who I want to be and I think the player who I am at the moment and over the last um, years. So I'm really thankful for him and, and, and the coaching staff for, for being here and, and, and trusting in me and, and giving me the confidence to be the player and just uh, play my game. And I think that's why I'm at my best level probably. Yeah, do you feel like you getting better with age really, you're getting better with more experience than with age? Well, obviously I think I had a really good time over, over the last few years uh, because the whole team was doing so well. Um, always going to be difficult moments and, and we had tough weeks as well. Um, obviously it's, it's difficult to stay on, on, on the same level like for, throughout a, a year, but um, I just feel really, really good like physically and, and, and obviously confident wise and, and knowing what, what uh, the gaffer wants from me and just try to deliver uh, what, what he's asking for, for me and I think uh, I try to do this uh, over the last past two years and I will do over the next years. You mentioned that there's been tough points throughout this season, certainly recently, but do you feel like you're getting through that now? Yeah, um, I think we had tough moments. Um, obviously a season is long, you have uh, high and lows and, and I know the team and, and, and the family we are in here so I'm really confident in, 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 in the player, in, in, in the club and I know we're coming uh, out of every difficult moment and um, we just stick together as we always do and um, I'm sure we're going to be back to, to our best. 
with the new contract, obviously it takes you up to the summer of 2025 now. Obviously a lot of football still for you to play, but have you started to think about the future beyond that as well? Well, um, yeah, I'm not the youngest anymore, to be honest, but uh, obviously I want to play football as, as long as possible. And um, that's that's my focus at the minute. But um, obviously I've done a sporting, uh, sport management degree uh, one or two years ago and just try to do something um, apart from football, not to be more busy, just to for the brain, you know, and obviously for the future, it's going to help me, I, I think, a lot. So, um, but at the moment, obviously, I'm a football player and I'm, I'm, I'm happy and hope, hopefully as long as possible. With those studies, though, does it help you on the pitch now as well? Does it give you a bit of a different insight as well as helping you for the future? Um, I wouldn't say it helps me as a, as a player on the pitch, but um, it's going to help me in the future, I think. And obviously, it was interesting to see um, different parts. Um, not just about uh, sporting management. Uh, obviously, there was much more about psychology and, and stuff like this. And um, I think it was very interesting and to to get to know a few different things. And um, yeah, hopefully it's going to benefit me in the future. In shorter term, though, what are the aims for the rest of this season? And obviously now beyond that as well for you. I just want to be back 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 at our best. Um, I think we had. Uh, some great years, the last two years, which which a lot of um, exciting times, and uh, I just want them back. I want to um, make everything possible what what, what we can. Obviously, um, we have to see how, how how the season is going and and what's what's going to be possible. But I believe in in, in this team more than ever. And um, yeah, I mean, if I have one dream, honestly, in, in my career is to. To win a trophy with Newcastle at some point, um, that would be my, my absolute dream and hopefully I'll still be here when this is going to happen.